Hello, this is Jeff Faulkner, and uh, as you know, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints takes no official, official position on the geographic location of any events in the Book of Mormon which happened in the Americas. But I believe it all happened centered around this geographic feature, this composite and very complex feature called the Isthmus of Tehuantepec, which has the land desolation to the west and the land bountiful to the east. Now, uh, in 327 AD, when the Nephites were being driven out of the, the uh, land of Zarahemla, which is the Grijalva River Basin, they went west to the seashore through uh, past the cities of Melek and Angola and David to Joshua. They fought back and forth in this West Sea coast area for a few years, and finally they were driven up through the Narrow Pass, which is Chivela Pass today, and driven up, clear up past Jashan, where Mormon got the plates that Amaron had deposited, up, uh, up to the land of Shem, where Mormon rallied them, and they fought their way back, all the way down to the Narrow Pass, in 350 A.D., they signed a treaty with the Lamanites, ceding all the land southward to the Lamanites, keeping the land northward. But uh, but Mormon didn't want them to try to reconquer the land southward. And when they swore by the heavens and by the throne of God that they would avenge themselves of their enemies and come back through here, through the pass, and reclaim the land southward, Mormon refused to lead them for 15 years. They suffered uh, great losses here, but there were many fierce battles. At first they won, and then finally they lost, and they were driven back up north through Jason and Shem and Boaz and Jordan, finally to Camorra, where they, where they got wiped out. But uh, this, these two cities here, Tiancum and... Uh, the city of desolation. Tiancum was named after the great warrior who had, had headed or interdicted, interdicted the people of Morianton as they were fleeing down through the pass to go to the, to the uh, land with many waters and rivers, uh, many large bodies of waters, which at that time was the Valley of Mexico, which had five large lakes and 15 rivers. The people of Morianton were trying to get through the narrow pass to go to the Valley of Mexico, but Tiancum headed them off. And this city here was apparently named after him because this is where he headed the people of Morienton. Now, uh, just a little bit of a review. This river here is the Usumacinta, or it could be called the Lamanite River. This is the East Wilderness, the Lamanite River. The Lamanites redeployed back and forth from the Northeast Theater of War to the Southwest Theater of War around Manti along this Usumacinta River. The Nephites redeployed back and forth along the Grijalva River, which uh, gave, made a shorter course for them so they could come back and get to the southeast wilderness ahead of the Lamanites. But the important thing to remember is that the land of desolation, the land of bountiful, were the two parts of the narrow neck of land. This is a major land form. It's very, very, very prominent in the Book of Mormon geography, and it is the primary, the principal, the central locator of the Book of Mormon region, the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. This Chivela Pass, or the Narrow Pass, is within the, the narrow neck of land, right between Desolation and Bountiful. And people had to get through this pass to go into the land northward. Primarily the target was the Valley of Mexico, as I said, with the five large lakes and the 15 rivers. Uh, Teotihuacan, uh, in the Book of Mormon, it's J Jacob Ugath or Jacob Ugath. But uh, the two large lagoons are where the sea is on the west and on the east. As in uh, Alma 50 and 34, we read that uh, Moroni, at, at uh, about 67 B.C., Captain Moroni sent Tiancum to head off the people of Morianton. And it came to pass that they did not head them until they had come to the borders of the land desolation. And there they did head them by the narrow pass which led by the sea into the land northward. 
yea, by the sea on the west and on the east. That's the two large lagoons. So these these identifiers, there's so many, so many identifiers that make it clear that this is the uh, central feature of the Book of Mormon region, southern Mexico, Guatemala, parts of Honduras, and El Salvador. This is the Book of Mormon region. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Thank you.